Hey, hey guys. guys, I'm Sadie. And I'm Jarvis. This is Ezzy. And we are The, the Samsons. Samsons. On today's video, we are doing a car tour. We just got a new car, a new mom car, a new dad car, a new baby car, and we're just super, super, super excited. This is the car that I've always wanted. So I wanted you guys to see what we're driving baby Izzy around in. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you, are you excited? excited? Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. It is about 9.30 in the morning. Izzy's getting a little sleepy. He's been up since early so if he's not happy and giggly like he usually is that's why okay all right all Come right on. so here it is she he it is a 2014 ford explorer sport i love the white with all the black detailing you can see my mask hanging up there I don't leave the house without it I love the rims. They're black and dark. I love that the tint is dark, so that's something I don't have to add. I love it. So let's get inside. One of my favorite features is this button here. If you have a car that has one of these, it's a godsend. So if I don't know where my keys are, they're in the car, so it won't lock. But if I know my keys are in my purse or in the diaper bag or my pocket, if I hit this button, the door will lock. Let me show you. So this is one of my favorite features of the car, especially with having the baby and Nevaeh and just having all this stuff in my hand. Sometimes I don't have time to pull my key fob out to um, lock the door. So I like to keep the keys in my pocket. If it's near, then I can just hit this and it'll unlock the door. It was locked before. And then even if I want to lock it, same thing. It's a little sensor. See? And then you pull on the handle and it'll unlock. Another feature that I love about the car is that it is remote start. Um, so if I'm in my house and it's really hot outside or I'm in the grocery store and I'm walking towards it and I want to start cooling it off or in the winter time, I want to start warming it up. Then I just hit the lock button and then hit this twice and the car automatically starts. And then all of my settings in the car automatically keep going. So that way the air comes on, the radio will start playing, that kind of stuff. So that way it's nice and cool once I finally get in the car. Now with the interior, we have black leather. We did buy this car used, obviously it's from 2014, but we got it for a good price, good miles. Um, and in very good condition so this car does have three rows of seats and my personal favorite is the captain seat we thought that was a must-have because of um car seats so i don't know if you have kids but if you have a uh, regular seating if you would put like a car seat here and this is the seat that comes up you would have to like take the car seat out anytime somebody something wanted that we wanted so it took us a long time to find something because we wanted captain seats specifically like so yeah new car? do you like your new car yeah. favorite features of this car is obviously that it's pushed to start so like i said if i don't know where my keys are as long as they're in the car the car will start also, they have these little settings over here for if I want to set my seat preferences, which we do because Jarvis is so much taller than me. It just makes it easier to just hit the button or to hit his button whenever we get in so that way we don't have to sit here and play with the seat. It also will adjust the mirrors automatically to whatever setting we set. So that's something that we really love. Um, so I'm going to show you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and push the button. Start the car. You see how my seat's moving forward? wheel is coming out my mirror is adjusted because I have my own personal setting so that way when I get in the car I don't have to sit there and try to adjust the seats and 
display with the buttons to adjust the mirrors and things like that. So that's one of our favorite is favorite is favorite is features. What I also like about this car is it has climate control in the back. So a lot of SUVs don't have, or even cars don't have air conditioning in the back, which makes it really hot for the people back there. So if I click on climate and I hit rear, it's touchscreen. That's also something I love. Um, I can either push rear, rear control so the people back there can control it, or I can just turn it on myself, which is typically what I'll do since the kids will be back there. So that way they don't have to deal with messing with that. Um, and then also another thing that I like about it, if you go back to, this is the, this is the regular screen. Um, we have seat warmers. So if I want my seat to be hot, that's Jarvis's side, but I'm going to turn it off. So if I want the seat to be hot, I can do that. Turn on the seat warmer and it has three different heat settings. If I want cold, I can have cold AC as well. That's one of the my favorite things about um, leather interior. I hate leather because it gets so hot, but I love leather because you get heated seats, cooled seats, that kind of stuff. So, so we're going to turn that off. And then the air is off because I don't want it to be too loud. But of course, it has air conditioning. Um, another thing that I love is Bluetooth connectivity so I can connect my phone um, so that way I can take phone calls or listen to music that kind of thing so that's one of the things we love. it also has navigation so that way I can click home which I'm not going to show you because then you'll know where I live and then you can put in different street addresses intersections previous destinations um, emergency it has like the address to the uh, police station and the address to the um, hospital so that's pretty cool that shows you where the nearest stuff is so that's one of the things i like as well i have navigation on my phone so it's not something that i use often at all so yeah another thing i really like about this car is some of the cool little settings it has so if i click settings and then i click on vehicle and i click on ambient lighting i can pick what color i want the interior to be it's hard to see in the daytime but at nighttime, my car, like the lights on the inside will be whatever color I select. So I have it on purple. It looks more pink, but you can fade it or make it brighter, whatever. So like the cup holders will be that color. The like underneath the dash will be that color on both sides and the back seat. So that's something I really, really love. I had to come back outside um, this afternoon so I could show you guys that because that's my favorite. Um, dashboard gauges. Um, I do need some windshield wiper fluid, so Jarvis needs to refill that. Um, this over here, right here, if the music was on, you'd be able to see that. You can see navigation, phone calls, that kind of thing on this side. Um, you can play music like this. It's off right now because I don't want to get in trouble for copyright. And then on here, it shows um, how many gallons to empty on this side. Um, which I need, even though I don't really look at it. You have no idea how many times I've come close to running out of gas. Or the next time Jarvis drives the car, I run out of gas. So, yeah, I'm bad at that. So, you can change the display and what you see. If I want to see the RPM. If I want to see both. If I want to see the four-wheel drive. Like, whatever it is I want to see, I have that option. And then it shows fuel economy driver assist so that way you can do traction control collision warning which is something that i do have on the sensitivity is only set it's set to high which i need to change because anytime i get two inches away from something it beeps really loud so but that's something that you can put it on low normal or high um so that way if i get close to something in the front it'll beep at me but yeah it's when it's on high it's like super sensitive so i'll keep it on normal cruise control of course and then we have a trailer hitch as well so that's an option as well and then regular settings for the vehicle um that's with the locks and stuff lighting for the um for the headlights and then if i wanted to auto lock auto unlock or if i want to use the remote my key settings is something that all fords come with um basically you set the key to a my key and then like there's certain features and things like that that you can do with it so like if i want it to i'm trying to see how do i do it 
you can change the distance and like kilometers miles whatever fuel engage whatever you want to see like that lots of cool things you can put the english i mean the language in um spanish french whatever your boat is see how that changed to spanish over there we're just going to change that back the temperature if you want it in fahrenheit or celsius uh oh she's speaking in spanish language set to english thank you a little delayed on that thing. Yeah, so lots of cool settings. I can't get into the Mikey settings for some reason, probably because I set it up like that. Yikes. Um, yeah, so usually, and I think I messed it up because I made my key not an admin key. Well, if I put it in the hole, you think? So if I put my key in the hole, there's a hole because it's a push to start. So just like a backup. So if I put it in there, let's see. So I guess when I put it in there the first time I made it not a admin key for my key. So we may have to get it reprogrammed. Whoopsie. But yeah, you can set it to like, to stop escalating the speed after like 65 miles an hour, 70, 75, 80. I didn't turn that on because you never know, you might be in a high speed chase. Somebody might be chasing you or following you. You might have to go 90, you never know. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Especially if you have like a teenage driver um that you want to make sure they're safe you can set those settings so that way they don't um you don't have to worry about that sort of thing so you don't have to worry about them speeding it'll like you can have it to where the radio turns off or the volume goes down or stuff like that also has this really cool like four-wheel drive knob um if i'm going up a hill or in the desert or if it's snowing or even if i'm going down a hill it has that as well so I think that's pretty cool. I won't use any of this stuff really. It doesn't snow here or anything. Um, but maybe if we drive to like Colorado or something one time, then we'll use this stuff. That'll be pretty cool. So, say hi. Say hi, did you? Say hi, did you? You big boy. Hi, big boy. Oh, one of the things I forgot to show you guys is about the mirrors. If I press this button. The mirrors automatically fold in so that way if i'm parking in a tight spot i don't have to worry about somebody knocking off my mirror and then this window is automatic so if i push it once it'll go all the way down pull it once and then that window is the same so if i go like that just once same thing so now for the back seat this is where ezra's car seat is he used to sit in the middle but um, because we don't have a middle anymore, he sits right behind mommy. So that way, when I get out of the car, we can just get him out like that. Ezzy, say hi. Say hi, you blue-eyed boy. Hi, <laughs> you sweet boy. So like I said before, we have cap and seats. Cap and seats means there's two seats, like a minivan, instead of one in the middle, which I love. And then this is one of the my favorite, favorite, favorite things is the DVD player um you can there's one on each side you can tilt it out so that way the person here can see it and then um if you hold the power button it'll come on it says no disc because there's nothing in there but there's different sources so if you hit s because if you flip this down here you could hook up like a video game or a dvd player or um, a usb or an aux cord that kind of thing there. And then here's how you would select and things like that. So I thought that was really cool, especially with like Nevaeh. And then as our kids get older, I think this will be something that they actually like. They might think it's kind of lame because nobody puts CD players in cars anymore. Um, but the DVD just goes right here. And yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. So maybe one night we'll have like a family movie night in the car. I think that'll be kind of cool. All right. Ezzy, you want to give them a tour of your new car? 
This place is packed with cup holders. There's one in each door. And then there is some right here, one on each side. And then of course the air conditioning and things like that, which they can't control unless I give them control from the front, which I love. And then we've got a cigarette um, holder here for like a regular charger, you know, and then for a car charger. And then this one is for like an actual outlet. So like I was talking about the video games, if you needed to plug that in, you can actually plug it in right there. So that's pretty cool. Right, Izzy? Right, baby boy? back again i love the fact that there are um the air conditioners back here that's my favorite thing and then back here there's two seats as well plenty of space for a cup holder or snacks or whatever like that on both sides which is great um and i just feel like it's very roomy in here i think it's perfect for our family and our growing family so that way we can fit up to like four car seats in here so yeah Four car seats at one four time. Car seats. Four car seats. You want to have four kids in car seats? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> you want to have four brothers and sisters? Oh. Well, he technically would be one, so that means three additional. Oh, Ezzy! Ezzy! Yeah. Ezzy! Back. The thing is automatic. There's a button there for me to close it. So back here is, I was like, why is it so low? But actually you could put, I could put Ezra's stroller in here and then like stack stuff on top. So that's great news. Um, there's another thing here for a charger. So that way the people in the back can charge their phones, which is awesome. And then like, all right, so to put the seat down, to, you have to put the headrest down first. So you're gonna pull this cord and then you can pull this or this, I don't know which. Okay, that one like that. And then to fold it all the way down, just like that. So that way it's completely flat. So you pull this to let the headrest down, and then that. What the? So I don't know what I just did there, but now you just pull this and then it folds like that. So now you have a completely flat, so that way if I have like a big box or something like that, that I need to put in there, I'll be able to put the seats down and just slide whatever I need to in there. So that's awesome. To close it, you just hit that button automatic close if something's in the way it won't close so that's always good for little fingers and things like that so that way it'll stay close one of the other things that i like about this car is that it has a sunroof and a moonroof so we got the controls right here so i'm gonna push that button so you see it starts to slide open as he's like what the heck Whoa. 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 So it slides all the way back. The cover, but the actual um, window doesn't open that far, which I think it's great because if it did, then we might have kids flying out of there. So, Ezzy, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. So we're really excited about this car and everything it means for our family. It's like a. A big start and we're getting ready to prepare to put more car seats in here we're about to update ezzy's car seat so that way it's a little bigger so he can grow into it yeah yeah add that what so we're really excited about our new car we love it we hope you guys love it as much as we do um so we're just really excited to be you know expanding our family and I think that now we're for sure ready because we have a much bigger car. And as we have bigger kids and as they get older, we're gonna need something bigger like a Suburban. But for the time being, I think this is a really good fit and gives us um, a nice start. So we're very excited and we hope you liked our video. I'm Sadie. I'm Jarvis. This is Ezzy Kins. That's Ezzy Kins. Is it Ezzy? And we'll see you. On, on the, the next, next one. Bye! Say see you later! Say see you later! I love you. I love you. You just want to jump. I love you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>